like the earth is rotating backwards and the sun is still? Or does it look like our sun is simply moving across our sky, traveling away from your perspective? Again, but with some inversion. You can clearly see the sun, not only decreasing its size, but heading towards its next destination with a slight turn before it disappears from your line of sight. that the Sun is a massive ball of burning gas 93 million miles away. But if that were true, then all the light that arrives here would be parallel because it's so far away. And it has to be parallel because one of the most often cited supposed globe proofs is Eratosthenes' experiment between Alexandria and Syene, by which he calculated the size of the Earth. For that calculation to be accurate, the light must come down parallel. The only problem is that that's not what we see. If you go out on a sunny day with broken cloud, what you'll see is that light comes down at angles, diverging angles. But we can also perform physical experiments that prove that these crepuscular rays, as they're called, can only be recreated with a light source that is small and close. It doesn't take a genius to understand that the further the light source goes up, the more the sun rays would spread out and become parallel. The reason you'd even think that the sun... If the Earth was flat, wouldn't it be sunny all the time? Uh, I mean, have they ever even thought about it? Well, if you'd let me finish, the reason you'd even think the sun would be visible from anywhere on Earth is because of the images they have shown you. We keep experimenting to try and figure out what the sun actually is and how close it could be. With a local hotspot, it should be easy to comprehend that the sun is small and close to you. To put that in perspective, imagine a table two meters wide in a completely dark room and you're holding a, a small but very bright light bulb, 3.4 millimeters across, and you were holding it about 31 centimeters above the table. What you'd see is a circular pool of light directly on the table, you know, beneath the light bulb. But on the other side of the table, it would be in darkness. Now, it seems to our mind that um, if you were on the uh, other side of the table, you would see the light because it's, you know, above the, above the table. But that's not true, because on that part of the table, it's in darkness, meaning that the light isn't physically reaching that part of the tabletop. Your senses are correct. We're also told that the sun sets because as the Earth rotates us away from the Sun, it's actually obscured by the physical curvature of the Earth. That's not what we see. What we see is a local Sun that is taking its local light with it. What happened to the horizon glowing across half of the world? Most sunsets are already fading through pollution, dander, chemtrails, and fog. Plus, refraction will always make the Sun seem like it's going down, as well as your perspective it would appear to sink down in your field of view. That's perspective. The further away you get from it, the lower it will appear. It doesn't physically change its height, it just appears that way to your eyes, until eventually it will disappear behind the horizon formed by your eye's vanishing point. Your eye has an angular resolution of 0.2 degrees. 
and anything at that height will disappear beyond the limit of your sight. Many times we can see uh, time-lapse footage of the sun that shows it getting smaller as it moves away from us. Now, that's not always the case, since the sun is traveling around the North Pole. The closer you are to the North, the less you'll see the size change. But from locations beyond the equator, you'll absolutely see the sun's size change. And that could never ever happen if the sun was 93 million miles away. You wouldn't see the sun change at all. Our eyes cannot see farther than what they were designed to see but that is no reason to keep them closed. There's also an effect that occurs under certain conditions called atmospheric lensing, where the sheer amount of atmosphere, as well as the rain between you and the sun, acts like a lens and a prism, magnifying it greatly, which leads to another observational proof that the sun's setting is an optical effect. At such times, when the sun is setting over the sea, and it seems as though it's half hidden by the horizon, then you can zoom in with a high-powered zoom camera and see that it's actually still above the horizon. It's just an optical illusion. Please help me build a small boat Fish cream. I'm glad of what keeps me afloat. The water sustains me without even trying. The water can't drown me undone. Watch <clears throat> as ships sail away. They don't disappear all at once. Now, first, the bottom will disappear. See, the bottom of the ship is gone. Now we can see midway up, and then the whole thing disappears. Now, ships came back. They didn't fall off a table. So people realized that the world is curved. I mean, it's a big curve, but it's curved. So the process of testing claims, the world is flat, the world is round, is what we call science. Now, if you have a claim that can't be tested, that's what we call pseudoscience. The difference between pseudoscience and regular science is whether or not you can test it. The flat Earth, well, that didn't stand up to tests. The round Earth did. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. The world is round. Ha. Now deeper the water I sail and faster the current I'm in But each night brings the stars And a song in my heart Is a tune for the journeyman's tale The water sustains me without even trying The water can't drown me, I'm done grows faint So wide is my river The horizon a sliver The artist has run out of pain Where the blue of the sea meets the sky And the big yellow sun leads me home I'm everywhere now, the way is a vow To the wind of each breath by and by The water sustains me without even trying The water can't drown me, I'm done with my
made sure to photograph him standing there with a really wide-angle lens, which curves horizontal lines. Okay. So in the photo, you see this curvature of Earth's surface, and he said, wow, he's in space. Look at that. No, he's not. That stuff is flat. Flat her